Today is the 29th of April, 2010, and Canonical is releasing their newest version of the Ubuntu Linux operating system 10.04. The codename is Lucid Links, and let's have a look at it. And so as you can see from the startup, it, uh, it looks a little bit different. We've got a purple background now, and uh, I'm going to be showing you guys how you would install it without a hard drive. So we'll go ahead and do that. There are some new features in Ubuntu 10.04, including that the user interface has changed quite a bit. They've dropped the old brown human theme, orange and brown, and they've gone with a purple and black one. And they did move all of the buttons to the left side of the window, so that's kind of annoying. We also see uh, a big move towards uh, social networking. We've got a... Um, you get the, the Messenger app now uh, supports Facebook chat. We also have this new thing called the Me menu. And the Me menu is basically where you can update your status all from the uh, top bar uh, by the power button. We also see some new, uh, new uh, included apps, including a simple video editing app similar to Windows Movie Maker. We see that GIMP has been dropped from the release. You can go download it yourself if you want to. Of course, there's better hard hardware support. There's better um, better graphics card support. I'm sure in Ubuntu 10.04, and this is a long-term support release. So you could use this until uh, I believe 2014 is when they stop supporting. It might be earlier. I'm not sure, but. It's a, it's a long-term support release, which usually means it's super stable and it's ready to go. We also saw an update to the Ubuntu One, which is their uh, cloud storage thing. Update to that so you can send files from the desktop, from context menus, etc. We also saw the release of the Ubuntu One Music Store. And the Music Store, you know, it's pretty much like the iTunes store or whatever. And speaking of Apple, we saw iPhone and iPod Touch support. You can browse the file system in the file system browser in Ubuntu called Nautilus. And Nautilus did get an update. We also saw some new GNOME icons. Icons have been updated. They look a little bit different. They're still the GNOME look and feel. And right now we're waiting for it to uh, boot up. Oh, there we go. So as you can see, the mouse is still the same. And they've replaced the installer wallpaper with a nice purple and stuff. That's been the main theme of it, has been purple and black. Alright, so as you can see, right from this install window, all the stuff's on the left side. And it's pretty much the same questions. We see that the uh, scroll scroll bar is, looks a little bit more like OS X with the rounded edges and stuff. So let's go ahead and get in the clock information. And Chicago will be fine. Go ahead and leave the keyboard the same. And we're going to go ahead and erase the entire disk and install 10.04 on it. Go ahead and put the username. Whatever, it's weak, I don't care. Alright, so let's go ahead and install. And uh, right from the get-go, the installer window looks pretty new. We've got this, um, we've got a, a real progress bar on the bottom. That is pretty much the window. We've got all the uh, stuff that it wants to talk about right here. Logo. Purple and black is the theme. 
And there are many ways to get Ubuntu. You can go to Ubuntu.com and download it either from HTTP, FTP, or a torrent file. And I would recommend using the torrent file because it really eases the load on their servers to uh, send the files. You can also get it directly from Canonical. You can get a CD, you can buy a CD. If you've never gotten a CD from them, you can make an account and you'll probably get a free CD. But if you have already gotten CDs, you'll probably pay, have to pay about five bucks for an Ubuntu CD. It looks nice, you should probably get it. You can also download an app called Wubi, and Wubi is the Windows Ubuntu installer. And basically it's a little app that you run on your Windows machine, Windows XP, Vista 7, whatever you got. And you run it and then you say, well what version do you want? Do you want Ubuntu? Do you want Kubuntu, which is using the KDE desktop? Do you want anything else? And then you select the one you want. You select how much of the disk you want to use, because you're going to be dual booting. You'll say like 15 gigs or 20 gigs. And then you'll click next and then it will go ahead and, in, and download the disk image itself. And then it will go ahead and install it and set it up to where you can dual boot whatever operating system you have. So you could have Vista. The Vista boot manager is nice. So you'd say, well, I want Ubuntu. And you'd scroll down and hit it and you'd be good to go. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, pause the video while it's copying files and I will return once it's done. Alright, so the installation has finished, and now we're going to go ahead and boot into Ubuntu. Alright, so here we go. We'll just go ahead and log in. And they've uh, kept that sound, I guess, even though they got rid of the theme. So here it is. It looks completely different from uh, any previous versions. We have uh, four uh, workspaces automatically enabled. Got the stuff up here. We got this me menu thing. Let's go ahead and open up the browser, or file browser. <laughs> As you can see, it looks a little bit different, and file system, I, folder icons are different, and all that. Let's go ahead and take a look at one of the apps. Let's look at, there's also a new app called Simple Scan, which you would hook up the scanner, and then you'd scan whatever you've got. Look at this uh, PTV thing. It's pretty much Windows Movie Maker for Ubuntu. So as you can see, it's pretty much the same as uh, Movie Maker. I don't have any videos to uh, put in it, but that's all right. Let's go ahead and uh, look at the wallpapers or backgrounds, as they're called here. And yeah, we've got this one from. Uh, I'm sure we've all seen that one before. Yeah, they're pretty nice. We even got this one from, uh, it looks like it's from 9.10. Themes. Default is the ambience theme, and they've pretty much removed uh, the human theme. I'm sure you can still go get it. If you like clear looks, you can still use clear looks, and uh, everything will be on the correct side, which is nice. So, yeah. Going to go ahead and open up the default browser, which is Firefox. So yeah, there it is. And uh, if you want to talk about this operating system, other operating systems, head on over to the forums at malwareup.selfip.com. Come talk to us at malwareup.selfip.com slash chat. And, uh, 